Hey beauty babes, welcome to today's vlog. So yes, as you guys can already tell, I am getting sick. The first two days, it first started off with just like my throat. My throat was very sore, it was very itchy. Um, and I ended up taking some Theraflu and it kind of went away in just like two days. Um, so that was a good thing. But then a couple of days ago, I woke up and now I am all stuffed up. Like I have boogers everywhere. My nose is runny and I can't stop sneezing. I don't necessarily think I'm like catching a cold. Well, I don't know yet, but hopefully I'm not. Um, I don't know. I just feel like working overnights, like my body is just kind of reacting to it. And I also did some research that um, whenever you do work overnight and your body doesn't get like enough rest at night when it's supposed to, you start lacking a lot of vitamin C. So that kind of like takes a toll on your body. So I think that's like another reason why I'm reacting this way. Um, but nonetheless, I have been putting like Vicks. Of course, I wouldn't be a true Latina if I don't have Vicks. So I actually have Vicks like right here. <laughs> like I cannot live without this. So I started like putting that all over my chest last night. I put some um, on my feet and then I kind of just put like some comfy socks. Of course, I have like my pink socks. I kind of put it inside my nose too. I kind of like inhale Vicks because it just kind of makes it easier for me to breathe. Um, but yeah, like this thing has been like a lifesaver. Today was actually my company's holiday Christmas party. Um, but obviously I'm not going to that because I am freaking sick and I just don't feel like getting ready and like going out like i just don't feel good i don't have the energy for it my body you guys like it's just out of whack like for real i feel like i've been complaining um but it's new to me like working overnights i had never ever ever worked overnight shifts before um so it was like new to me and um yeah like I just feel like everything just kind of compiled at once. And Penny is over here cuddling with mommy and taking care of mommy. Right, baby? You hear me? Do you want to say hi to beauty babes? Are you tired? <laughs> yeah? You're taking care of mommy? Oh, you sleepy mamas. Let's take a nap, okay? We're just going to go ahead and take some BC powder. This is like nasty, you guys, but it really, really, really did make me feel a lot better yesterday. So we're gonna take this. I love chugging this after I put this in my mouth because it's disgusting. Look at the madness. Seriously, I had to get a whole roll ah, of toilet paper. And I'm almost all the way through it, you guys. I don't feel any better. Um, I did end up taking a nap. And I just woke up right now. I got like, maybe I would say two, three hours of sleep. I'm still so, so tired. Um, but I just couldn't sleep. I was just like up and I'm like super hot of course I'm wearing this big old jacket because I just walked Penny I honestly feel like worse than what I did earlier today um, but if I don't get better by tomorrow I'm just gonna have to go see a doctor because I can't like I cannot be sick and yeah it's just it's pretty bad I'm not even like hungry because I had like a really good breakfast um, I had like a really big breakfast actually. I'm just more so like tired. Like I feel tired and I kind of feel bad because I'm not going to my Christmas party um, because I kind of really, really wanted to go. Um, but like I said, I can't go anywhere like this. Like I feel like crap. So anybody from work that is watching this, I am so sorry I didn't make it. I feel like crap. I'll probably have something to eat maybe even later on today because right now, like I said, I'm not even in the mood to do anything. I guess I'm just gonna have to like 
do some work, answer some emails right now because I have so many emails to answer to. Like, I think I am completely backed up but to be honest it is so hard to keep up like um, especially when you have like a full-time job already and you have nobody to help you like I'm the only one that runs the show I run the show by myself so I have to like answer emails read over contracts it gets pretty like overwhelming sometimes um I feel like I'm so out of it Ugh, guys update I still feel like crap like oh I think it almost like got worse I legit just had like a full-blown sneezing attack just now I could not stop sneezing like it was back to back to back I'm actually about to go to CVS though so I can get some medication because I definitely definitely need it um good thing I did some like work at home I responded to every single email that I needed to respond to so I caught up on a lot of work so that's a good thing um I ate too I had some chick-fil-a I had a salad um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update. Hey guys, so today is the next day So welcome to another day in the vlog. I woke up today feeling slightly better than I was yesterday um, But yeah, like I'm still sick. I think I'm actually gonna see a doctor um, a little bit later on Okay Come on, truck. I actually had to run a few errands today. That is why I am out and about. If not, I would be home right now, just like sleeping so that I can feel better. But um, I had to go to work and pick up some cash. And um, I have to like return some stuff that I bought from Old Navy. I've had some stuff from Old Navy here in the back of my car for the longest time. And I have to go return it like ASAP before um, like the return policy like ends or whatever. After that, I have to go to Target so I can go get penny food and like pick up a few things. But like honestly, I've just been out of it. Like I'm completely out of it. I'm just like... I feel tired, I feel weak, but I feel like the best thing to do right now is just like see a doctor. Um, I just don't want it to get worse. And then on top of that, I go back to work tomorrow. I've been off for the last three days, so I have to get better. But good thing is I work tomorrow and then I'm off two more days after that. So that's a good thing. I'll just have to kind of survive one day at work, if anything. And I also have some coffee with me that I got earlier today from Burger King. It's all right, I just need it like something quick and this was like the easiest thing to get. And on top of that, to make it worse, my eyes got so irritated yesterday. I think because I was like sneezing constantly and I don't know, like maybe allergies or something, but my eyes were getting so irritated that I had to take my contacts off and not wearing my glasses, which there's nothing wrong with wearing glasses, but um, I don't know, I just hate wearing glasses. I think I have to like go resize. Oh shit, I can't see. I have to go resize them because they're too big for my face. They keep like falling off and stuff. Oh my god, you guys. I've been wanting a jacket like this for so long. Like the little puffy kind of style. I'm actually at Target right now, by the way. It is $30, but I'm definitely taking it. I was so excited that I ended up putting on the jacket that I just got from Target. I love it so much, guys, and it's like perfect because it's not like, I don't know, it's not too big and it will keep you like warm, but like cool at the same time, if that kind of makes sense. I ended up just getting, um, sorry, I have you guys in this like weird angle and my hair, look at my hair. Ugh. I look a mess, you guys, but. Um, I ended up eating some pizza and some breadsticks. I was so, so hungry, so I just ended up eating there at Target, of course. Like, I'm always at Target. I definitely do feel better, though. I don't feel the way that I was feeling earlier. And like I was mentioning uh, before, I should have gone to the doctor. That's the thing that I should have done. Um, but I'm still taking some medication over the counter. I'm taking Theraflu. I'm taking a lot of emergency, like the vitamin C powder. So I'm taking that. So hopefully by tonight, I'll feel like 100%, but not 100%, but I'll feel like 80% better. Oh, I'm going to give you guys a little haul of what I got. Um, I ended up going to Old Navy to return some stuff that I just didn't like. And I kind of... 
um, finesse because I got some stuff at Old Navy. I'm pretty sure you guys remember I went shopping right for like work clothes and stuff. But then I ended up washing the clothes and most of the pants like faded and they like shrunk. So like the next time I wanted to wear a pair of pants, like the black ones, I was gonna wear them again. They were so freaking short, you guys. So short and so freaking tight. They wouldn't like go up my thigh. So I was like, what the fuck? So I just like shrunk the hell out of the clothes. And then I had like a few um, blouses that I wanted to return. I just didn't like the way they fit. And then the other one, it was like too low of a V-neck for me to wear. So I ended up returning the pants and the pants were washed, they were faded. And the girl asked me, she was like, have these been worn? And I said, no. And like, yeah, so I ended up returning everything. And then next to Old Navy, there is a Marshalls slash TJ Maxx. So I went in there and I fell in love with some clothes pieces. I'll show you guys whenever I get home. But I got more work stuff, you guys, look. Okay, so we are back home now. And I took a nap, guys. I'm actually so happy that I ended up taking a nap. I got home like at eight and I just woke up and it is midnight. It is 12, 14, you guys. I haven't even been sleeping through the night, like me being sick. I don't know what it is, like I just can't sleep. Um, for the past couple of days, I've been waking up super early, like at 6, 30, 7 a.m. And then like, I just can't go back to sleep. So me getting this little nap right here, um, it was amazing. Like I feel so much better. Um, but real quickly, I'm gonna show you what I got at Home, home Goods, at Marshall's. Um, Cause I am so excited to wear this tomorrow. So I got these black um, pants right here, these trousers. And I love them because the material is just so soft. I don't know, but I got these and these were only $19.99. I got those and then my favorite are these right here. Again, just regular trousers. And not to mention, I love the pants that you can just kind of like pull up and that don't have like a button. I don't know why I am obsessed with those. So I kind of went that route with these two and I'm just so obsessed, you guys. This one is so freaking cute like i love the color i love the cut at the bottom and then i think i got one oh yes i got one more i almost forgot about this one <laughs> i got one more and i think they're like the same brand well these two are the same brand but see i got another pair where you just slide up it doesn't have buttons and these are just your typical black and white and again they're just like really nice trousers with a really nice um, cut at the bottom. I love them so much. And then this one was $16.99, so it's a really, really good deal. And then I got a couple of shirts and blouses. I got this one right here, and this is actually a Michael Kors blouse. Um, so I don't know, I just needed to get it. It's like a pretty um, nude beige color. And then this, I wanna pair it up with these pants right here. It will look so freaking cute. I love it. I should give you guys a better look of the shirt, but it can't. Yeah, I can't. Then I got this red one here and it just has like the little fringe at the top. I just need blouses so that I can wear under my blazer. And oh, the Michael Kors one was $29.99. And then this red one is Calvin Klein and it is $14.99. And then I got the cutest button-up shirt i love wearing button-up shirts i don't know why i just love them and i think it is so cute because it actually like look at this they're hearts like how cute is that you guys honestly this tripod that i was so excited to buy um i am not loving like it's not my favorite I don't know, I think I might return it. I just feel like it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's too sturdy, like it's too metally, and I feel like it's heavier than what it should be. I don't know, it's probably just my head, but I mean, it's an amazing tripod. I just don't like how, I don't know. It takes me a long time to chug one of these because I don't even know how to chug. I don't know. Um, but I just took my Theraflu, so I already took my last dose of that before I head to bed. I have my Kleenex in handy. I really didn't sneeze as much. That's a good sign. I'm actually so excited to like wake up and feel like good again and feel healthy because it like actually does take a toll on your body. Like I'm not even gonna lie, like it's really sad. 
when like people get sick and stuff and it just kind of makes you think like let's be real it makes you think that if i'm sick right i don't know what i have i might have the flu i might just have a cold whatever but like the people who actually have like a serious disease um you know like something like chronic like that um i don't know it's just like it's so sad and i'm just so blessed to you know be healthy and just live this life that i'm living like sometimes we just don't take that into consideration we're just so busy focusing on the bad that we have in our lives and like you know the negative stuff but life is way too short you know in these last couple of days i feel like i haven't been able to do a lot because i'm sick and i feel like crap you know um i missed out on a lot but then it's like i i'm not gonna complain because it's just a couple of days that you know i have to like endure this it's just a couple of days but like other people who are actually sick that have like cancer have like a chronic disease who are in pain 24 7 people you know that go through worse things than just like a cold or something like you know props to them like god bless them seriously because it's like a sad world like it's just so sad and unfortunate that you know we all have to go through this but like we're blessed you know like just take some time off and actually thank god that you know you're you're healthy and that you're in a good space um i just wanted to come on here and say that because i feel like i was like complaining to myself about being sick like why am i sick like you know i wanted to cry well i did cry today because i just didn't feel good um but then it's like there's people who actually like are in their deathbed like people who are about to take their last breath in life you know and it's like like i can't let that get to me like i can't like complain about stupid shit like that you know i didn't even have to see a doctor like if i just let my body fight by itself like i'm gonna heal but other people don't heal you know like what about those people that don't heal what about those people who have to be in pain it just makes me sad i don't want to get emotional but it makes me like very very sad